five cool or um interesting places I've been by Mel. First of all, Scottsdale, Arizona. I like it because it's pretty. There are lots of cacti. Uh, yeah, I'm not very articulate today. Uh, hmm. I like it there. And that's all that really matters, right? And I downloaded a lot of pictures from Google Images, so just enjoy them. Don't require explanation. Part two, Wall, South Dakota. Pretty much a tourist trap in the middle of nowhere, but don't worry guys, they've got free ice water. And uh, they're pretty close to a bunch of major landmarks in South Dakota, like the Corn Palace, which actually turned out to not be a palace made of corn, but more a big room with corn decorations. Yeah, I was disappointed too. This giant corn husk kind of redeemed the whole experience though, so no time wasted. And then there are the Badlands, which to be honest are pretty badass. And uh, I actually managed to get some video footage in South Dakota too. Unfortunately, most of the video is just me lip syncing. But that's what happens when you give 13 year old me a camera. Just another girl alone at the bar. Yeah, sadly that actually happened. Part 3, Yellowstone, Wyoming. It was fun, there was snow, we saw real life buffalo. What else do you need? I don't know, I'm kind of running out of ideas for this video. Hmm. Oh, look, I've managed to dig up a little more video footage to pass the time. Yeah, I think that's our car version of cabin fever. Part five is Washington, D.C. You just put it in. I went there with my grandma when I was 13, and I had a really good time, so, yeah, it's pretty nice. I made it! Now for places I would like to go in the future. Number one is Edinburgh, Scotland. Number two, Bixby, Oklahoma, a town that is apparently so small I couldn't even find a picture of it on Google Images. Number three, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter theme park. Do I have to explain? Number four, Germany. Just anywhere in Germany, I don't care. Number five, Seattle, Washington. Endless rain and technology. What more could you need? And that concludes another episode of Mel Makes a Fool of Herself on the Internet. I hope you'll join me next week for more, uh, semi-interesting antics. Thanks.